If you like murals, you might be wondering how such a big piece of art gets made. Recently, I got the opportunity to talk to Jackie Anderson and Harold Guntner and ask them about the process as they worked on their mural. Hi, I'm Jackie Anderson. And I'm Harold Guntner. Uh, and together we created this mural. It's behind us and we're in the process of painting it. projector at night and shines um, the image onto the wall at night and then got a couple of sharpies and a couple of ladders and just traced the whole image up. Uh, it took about an hour to do the actual tracing and then we just started painting and did it like a paint by number where all the ones are red, all the twos are orange, etc. And then we just uh, do one color at a time and we're doing at least two coats of every color. This mural project, um, it's to highlight the history of this neighborhood, which is the MLK neighborhood. Um, so what Harry and I decided to do was look at some of the, the businesses that are on MLK that have been here a super long time. Um, and the Live and Let Live barbershop has been on MLK for over 100 years, I'm pretty sure. It's like over 100 or close to 100. 98 years. So um, we thought that was really impressive. Um, and so we did all these, I did all these mock-ups of different like barbershop images and things related to barbershop sort of like culture. Um, and really what was most interesting to me about um, the Live and Let Live barbershop is if you go in, the walls are just like plastered with all these different like posters showing different haircuts you can get and like family photos, um, photos of like famous African-Americans. Um, all kinds of things. So to me, like the stuff that was all over the walls really kind of told a story. Um, so that's the inspiration behind the design. And then I wanted it to be like a really warm image. So I chose all these um, warm tones, like reds and purples and pinks. I was aware of Live and Let Live Barbershop for a while, because it also is a laundromat, which I think is cool. Like two things at once, you do your laundry, get haircut. But we sort of conceptualized the idea together I went in and took photos at the place, which was a little awkward, but it turned out okay. Uh, just because they were just trying to do their job and I'm in here snapping photos of the people getting haircuts and stuff. But yeah, I think uh, for the most part, Jackie covered the, the idea behind it. Like we just, it's an African American owned business that's been around for nearly a hundred years. And uh, it felt like a pretty good place to start with trying to <clears throat> you know, celebrate this neighborhood. One of my favorite places to see local public art is the sculpture fields at Montague Park. It's a 33-acre sculpture park that is free and open to the public. The park was closed for decades due to environmental concerns, but reopened in 2016 to become the largest sculpture park in the Southeast. I love that Sculpture Fields combines two of my favorite things, enjoying art and being outside. It's a great place to go for a walk and see art in Chattanooga. <laughs> 